Hey everyone, it is me, Umber Rays, coming at you with a brand new video this week. A little bit late on uh, this video because honestly, I didn't really expect this uh, to kind of be what it is. But here we are, and today we're going to be talking about a April Fool's joke in kind of the best way possible. And I'm just going to maybe lower the volume a little bit here because I don't want it to be too overpowering. But yeah, this is um, Psy Games, uh, one of their uh, <laughs> April Fool's jokes this year. And I have to be totally honest, I'm just blown away by this. Uh, Princess Connect was a game I started playing when it first came out on the English version. I was interested in you know the, the style of the game the artwork uh, for the most part and it's basically fallen off for me since then i don't really like some of the um well we'll just say the content and i'm not a, the biggest fan of the story i mean it's generally cute and it was kind of interesting to see like all female cast kind of thing for the most part you know so that was one of the things, but this is a April Fool's joke. Uh, and, and you know, like I think about North American April Fool's and playing pranks on people and everything like that. And that's really not what this is, because this is a full game that has been designed, uh, made, and it's only going to be accessible for one week from April 1st to April 8th. And I wanted to show this off because... This is really impressive for a lot of different reasons. This game is a auto battler. So if you've ever done uh, any of the auto chess style games that are out nowadays, you know, most common one I'm familiar with is uh, Hearthstone Battlegrounds, which totally free mode. Uh, you don't really need to spend any money on it. And, you know, I've logged a ton of hours into it. Auto battlers are just kind of fun. And that's what this game is. But I just want to show off just how much work has been put into this game. Like, literally all of the characters, or at least pretty much all of the characters that I've seen that are in Princess Connect are available in this game. And, you know, they even have, like, full little animated videos here. There's voice work. Like, look at this. Look, at, I want to really show off, like, the quality of it. There's really nice animations and everything for the characters like we can just scroll through and there are just tons of these like it's all of the characters fully modeled in 3d which if you've ever played princess connect that this is just not a thing i don't know as i'm not familiar with every piece of psy games material out there but this just seems like an incredible amount of work and i'd say that i'd be incredibly naive if i didn't think that this was being used or something or maybe this was a test run of a brand new game or maybe they're going to be upgrading princess connect to a new 3d version or there's a new 3d game in the work but it's just really impressive to see all of the cast basically in full 3d with 3d animations and really nice looking animations too this is more work if you i mean you, you frequent this channel, you know that I talk a lot about War of the Visions. War of the Visions has a lot of animation, but this this is an April Fool's joke that, in my opinion, probably just went too far. So, yeah, this is... Um, you can load in here. I, I mean, I want to go in and actually show a match, but there's different types of equipment you can give to your characters. Um, you can unlock different characters to be your main character. Uh, there's a little bit of story here there's an actual leaderboard as well with a ranking system uh which is really really impressive uh, there's some people that are just going really really hard there's even like daily leaderboards which is pretty interesting uh, menu and operating system and uh from here i mean this is basically pretty uh pretty straightforward as to what is available you got the tutorial, the main battle, and boss battle. Boss battle being this kind of little thing that I think you do after you play through the main battle. You just take it in, you're trying to take down a boss. So it even gives you something a little bit to do. As I said before, you can unlock uh, these characters. And there's, there's no uh, monetary transactions within the app whatsoever that I have been able to find. There's some 
things that if you unlock them they actually take you to like a a real world shop where you can buy plushies or something like that which is interesting if nothing else but yeah i mean like basically if, if there's like one of these characters you want it's just like at most you need to play the game or the main battle five times to unlock everything i mean there's different maps that you can choose so let's let's just choose a map we don't have any choices for characters because i've been playing this on my phone and yeah i actually have from good authority that i know someone who's played a lot of this over the last few days and i know that they are a, a really really enjoyed it so i mean like i i fully recommend this uh playing this if you're into auto chesses at all or if you're looking something just for fun i mean it's only available till the 8th so you don't even have to take it too seriously there's really a com i mean you can get effectively a competitive style mode here by playing against other players but you also can you know just play for fun which is pretty neat all right so here we go in and as you can see we start with a certain amount of characters we have a certain amount of time we're looking to you know maybe choose some characters uh for ourselves and we're looking to just play one out um if you like there is a essentially a gold economy that you can see up here some of it can be used to upgrade uh your um your, your uh basically your character and allow you to have multiple characters out on screen at once uh there are even some rounds where you're just fighting like monster enemies and it's just giving you like equipment that you can use so we can see here we got this nice little bow we could give it to one of our characters and whatnot and then after you've beaten you have a certain amount of gold and you go back into an economy system and Oh, look at this. Here we go. We can even level up our character. So if you get three of a kind, like in a lot of these auto battlers, you can actually just get, um, uh, what is it? Uh, you can just end up getting some level ups. Uh, we're going to put our bow right here on our level two character. Worked out nicely. I mean, basically you try and get triples. You can uh, sell characters off or you can buy them, you can end up uh, re-rolling. Here we have this one too. Uh, yeah, so we're just gonna go through this, try it out a little bit. Uh, it gives us a, a new video for this, but yeah, for, for just a essentially a free game, it's pretty cool to end up just playing through this a lot. All right, so throw that there. Got five golds. Looks like it costs two to upgrade right now. We're gonna see what we get for characters. Right, so I think we're gonna go for that. This might be good. Yeah, it's cheap. We'll just go with. We'll spend a little bit of money with that and throw another character down. So and put our shield on them. All right, we're jumping in this time. So after a few matches, you end up fighting against other players. Uh, much like playing uh, some of the other auto battler chesses, we have um, uh, you are you are playing against other players. So we have a lobby here with different people, and we're we fought against them. We won because our characters were strong, and we were able to you know just get a nice little victory for us. We even ended up. Ooh, we're just gonna play that, I think. on her excellent now we're gonna wait for the here we got some content and like i said you can re-roll basically it does cost some money so you want to be careful when you do it uh but it can be good so like here we have akino and certain characters have certain um uh what's the word uh affinities that are good so playing certain characters down, if you have their similar types, you can end up getting... Oh, we were a little too late there. Oh, we don't also have space, so that's bad. All right, we're going to end up fighting this group right here. Let's see if we get... If our team can end up winning. We got two of their characters down already. Looking good for us. Here we go. 
nice, nice little, nice little win, taking out some of the competition. We're up to seven gold. Hopefully, we get a few more of Kamaki-san. Well, that's interesting. Three gold a piece. I'm gonna reroll again. Also, in the middle, you can just like toss characters out, so you can still do things at the same time. Not exactly in the big... We, we have a couple of really strong characters that are helping us get through this quite nicely. Doesn't look like we have anyone that can really benefit from the Lance. Hey, we're doing all right. We're doing okay. Up to 12 gold. You know what? We'll upgrade here. That'll give us... And as you upgrade, your, you also get, like, higher quality characters in here, too. Like, here we have a four-star. Don't really like her. Ah, here we go. One more of them. And... I'm gonna be greedy on this. I'm gonna be really, really, really greedy. Oh, she... Put her up front. As you can see, we kind of have a little bit of synergy there. Great. And you got to be a little bit fast in this one, though. That's the only thing I've really... Generally looking okay. Looking all right. Yeah, nice convincing win. amount of stuff. I think we're going to sell off these two characters, though, here in a second. Probably just move her down, switch out that, get in a nice little three-star character. Gold for our wins, and continue on. Alright, so now we got a super... Another super character right there. That. Pull her back. In. I think sell her off. And anything, like, since I play Hearthstone Battlegrounds, uh, it's kind of nice that you have something to do during your turn. Like, you can actually just keep doing this. Keep working towards your goals. This one looking a little scarier. We got some nice jump back characters, though, that are jumping in behind. Killing the mages. So you have, like, your offensive characters, defensive characters, some healer characters. And all of that, you're just trying to make a really nice little team that'll end up... Uh, Winning the win we did on a nice little streak here. So you have to balance your gold economy between upgrading, buying characters, and just figuring out where you want to go. All right, another one. We're going for a super character here. And uh, I'm going to say that Moo Moo Girl is also really good. You're going to sell that one off. Still don't have enough gold. I think I just got that in in time. Not looking great for us. Oh, I think this will be a, definitely our first loss. There you go. Uh, first loss. It's a little bit sad, but there you go. Is what it is. Being, being very greedy on uh, 
what we were doing with our group there. Wait for the round end to figure out who's winning and everything like that. We can take a look here at all of our stats. All right, come on, give us... Don't have a lot of gold here to really work with. Ooh. Pretty nice though. We're just gonna upgrade this turn. That allows us two more characters out. All right, so now we have our first triple triple. So like it goes up from tier one characters up to tier two and then eventually into rainbow tier threes. Rainbow tier three is being very, very strong. You can see they got a lot of characters jumping in behind. But if we can get back in there and kill mage characters, usually pretty good for you. Usually worth it. You can see we've mopped that up pretty nice. We got one person already out of this fight. Not really good. So yeah, I mean, we greeted it out with essentially getting a very, very strong character uh, in Tamaki-san up to a rainbow type, which is pretty nice. But yeah, this game is just a great little time spender. It doesn't take too, too long to get through a match. And um, yeah, there isn't really any like stamina costs or any reason why you can't keep just playing this game so i mean i really really recommend it if you're looking for just something fun to play in the meantime uh let's see here i'm gonna pick some of the characters I really like and try and re-roll for something nice another no we're gonna take that back and we'll throw in her Check that out, get three gold back, and that, that gives us a little bit of money for next turn. So this time we're fighting a boss enemy, a little bit of a break from fighting all the groups. And this is something I also really like. Heartstone every single time you're always fighting similar or just fighting people in the lobby and whatnot. And this essentially just allows you to kind of uh, fight a few like regular enemies. It just gives you a little bit of a break between all the matches. Hey, we got a nice little sword there. I think we also got another piece of equipment right here. I'm gonna put it on our really strong character when the game will let me. Oh, there we go. We got a nice little upgrade there for our characters. We're gonna put that on. And uh, you probably Take another one, and that'll be it for all. Interesting to see how this ends up working out, whether or not we're going to win this. Looks like they have some really strong characters. I mean, you have to balance between like trying to get multiples of a character or potentially going for just really, 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 really strong, like, triple characters but so far it seems like we're doing pretty good and we eliminated someone too awesome on a bit of a hot streak let's see what we got really quickly here nothing i overly like and not really that we want Take a look here. Take quite a few to be able to get her up. I'm just going to hold on to my gold, see what happens. Upgrade in the next turn. Maybe we can just block out. A Ooh, this. All right. So this group, we got like a lot, lot, lot of enemies. So they've been powering up to the higher ranks. Doesn't look like it's in. It looks like they've uh, just won out over with sheer numbers over us. So, but uh, hey, we're top four, which is really, really good. We're immediately going to upgrade here. Get right down. Look, 
We don't have any money, so we're just going to be poor for another turn. We're going to throw another character. We have another character, so I think we're doing all right. Also, cute little emotes here. You have different kinds of emotes for depending on what you want. We're Oh, we lost the last battle. Just really quickly show off some of the ones with our current character. Got the bomb girl in the back here doing major work. Ooh, all right. Very, very close to dying. Gonna need to put some serious work into maybe finding a good character or two here. I only have eight gold to work with, so not feeling super good. So, pull out. Uh, that was a slight misclick there. Need to be a wee bit faster on the draw. Looking super good for us. Yeah, I think we're... I would say that we are very much dead. Yep, yep, we're dead. But yeah, it's, it's alright. Because, again, no stamina cost. You can just end up playing this game as many times as you want. Very little penalties. And hey, look. Just for playing a match, even though we ended up doing pretty okay... We unlocked a new character that we can, and we're immediately... I'm not a big fan of this character at all. Yes, I know. I know all of this, you silly game. And then boom, all of a sudden, new character. You can just go in and play another game. So yeah, I, I wanted to show this game off. Uh, just show a match or two. Like one match. We're already running about 22 minutes. But uh, why did you have a JP account? Um on um, Google Play. Uh, you can pick this game up for free. I don't think it requires any kind of VPN or anything like that, so happy playing. Uh, hope you try it out and have some fun, because for another or ish for watching. See you next time.